Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 GM using Snowbreeze. Yes, iOS 5 GM. The next release of iOS 5 should be the official release and I think it's going to come out on the 12th of October. Now there's two th key things to note about this jailbreak. One, it's tethered. So you're going to have to use your device tethered every time your battery dies, you restart your device or you power off your device. Two, you do not need to register a UDID. You do not have to worry about that. GM doesn't require you to register a UDID so you could just go ahead and update the iOS 5 GM without having your UDID registered. Now the link is in the description to a guide plus every everything that you're going to need to down, download. Just visit the link in the description. You guys already know that's how I do it. If you run into any errors, visit the link as well. There's be, there'll be troubleshoot steps at the bottom of the guide. You can check out that. For instance, 3194 error, etc., etc. So you're gonna need you're gonna need Snowbreeze and you're gonna need the iOS 5 GM IPSW. As you can see, I have both mines right here: the Snowbreeze and the GM iOS 5. So the first thing you're gonna do is right-click Snowbreeze. Click properties, click compatibility, check off run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows Service Pack 2, check run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then hit OK. And that's only for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users. If you don't see it, it's not a problem. That step is not mandatory. So now you're going to run Snowbreeze, click yes, going to click OK close credits and then you're going to click next browse for your IPSW the same one that I you the iOS 5 GM IPSW I put mine on my desktop as you can see it recognized it click next now we're going to click export mode and remember Snowbreeze preserves your baseband for unlock and I think iOS 5 updates your baseband so if you're an unlocker this is the best option for you so your baseband doesn't get updated. I do not think Ultra Snow was updated to support iOS 5 but the GVSIM users should be able to unlock their device with a preserved baseband. So now we're going to go and click general. If you have an iPhone you can go ahead and click activate. That's if you do not have the official AT&T chip to activate it. You can go and click, and click activate. I don't have that. I'm just going to leave it at enable battery percentage and click next. Next. Now we're going to click build IPSW. Now Snowbreeze is going to work its magic and build the IPSW so I'm going to come back when Snowbreeze is finished building the IPSW. So now that Snowbreeze is finished building the IPSW, <coughs> now we got to click OK and then we're going to get ready to put our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I'm going to show you. Make sure your device is plugged into your computer, or laptop, whatever you're using. And we're going to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then we're going to release the power button, keep my holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snowbreeze recognizes our iDevice. So now we're going to go ahead and click start and get ready. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. Now Snowbees has recognized our eye device. Now we can release that. Snowbees is finished. Click OK. Now you can close our Snowbees. Now you're going to run iTunes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click Shift plus Restore. Click Press Shift on the keyboard. Press Restore on iTunes. You're going to scroll down. And you're going to look for the IPSW. It's going to be on your desktop. Snowbreeze automatically puts it on your desktop. As you can see it right there, you're going to select that. Now you're going to go and click Restore in iTunes. And we're going to let iTunes work its magic. I'm going to come back when iTunes is finished. Now after iTunes is finished, your Cydia and your Safari should be working as normal. Now when you first open up Cydia, you're going to see a black screen says prepare a file system. Don't panic. Just let that work its magic. It's going to prepare the file system. It's going to exit when it's finished. 
and then you can open up CD. It's gonna look like this. So yeah, that's it, guys. Please remember this is a tether jailbreak, so you're gonna always have to use iBooty. If your battery dies, you reboot your device or you power it off, so you can boot your device. Tether. The only the only device it's untethered for is the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Link in the description for in-depth guide, everything you're gonna need to download and troubleshooting steps. You are now jailbroken, may the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.